Hi, in this video series, I'm going to show you how we at Solara Technical go about defining a complete power system. I'll post these videos every week on Thursday, so please watch for them. Let me summarize where we are in our design. In my first video, I mentioned our power system needed three outputs. The main 48 volt output, where the battery bank will be, and two other voltages derived from the 48 volt output. These two other voltages are a passive optical power network and a 120 volt AC output for the computers and monitors. In my second video, I explained what a passive optical network is and how one can be powered by a parallel copper power network. And in my third video, I designed a parallel copper power network for a specific passive optical network and computed the current draw needed from the 48 volt DC to supply it. In this video, I'll dive into the inverter selection and sizing. An inverter is a device that converts a DC input voltage to an AC output voltage. Their applications are many, ranging from grid-tied solar panels to AC outlets in pickup trucks to run power tools to telecom systems like the one I'm designing here. Inverters have options like transfer switches, which transfer, hence the name, the AC loads between the AC mains and the inverter output. Like most electronic devices today, inverters come in monolithic blocks and modular varieties. Here is a picture of a modular system of inverters. Here is a picture of a monolithic version which is the device I will use in my design. In our design, the customer said a thousand watt unit is fine. To keep the cost down, a monolithic module is used. These are the specs we need to concern ourselves with. At 1000 VA output and with a conversion efficiency of 85%, the input power is 1000 watts divided by 0.85, or 1,176 watts. At 54.5 volts, the current needed from the 48 volt main output to support the inverter load is 1,176 watts divided by 54.5 volts, or 21.6 amps. In my next video, I'll show you the specs for the optical line terminal and the power needed to run it. Then I'll summarize all the 48 volts and size the battery needed. Thanks for listening. And if you need help with anything related to power, please reach out to us. It costs you nothing to chat. Until next time, have a great week.